nice out today. What better way to start off the morning, the day, than to uh, get inside of the Shelby. Now my go-to place in the morning when it comes to getting food out is uh, Chick-fil-A. I know many people out there who are addicted to Chick-fil-A. So let's uh, let's get on the road, go to Chick-fil-A. And then after that, let's uh, let's go stop by my local Ford dealership, talk to my local Ford GM, see what he has to say about the new GT500. And uh, if you'll uh, give me a good deal on the car, I am completely a loyal customer. Been going there for so long now. Hopefully, it should work out. It, it should work out. Anyway, so let's get on the road. Steep inclines. You gotta always be super careful because if you're not, you can totally bottom out your car. I always see guys put on carbon fiber front splitters on their R's. I never did that because I do scrape this car all the time. And if I were to scrape a thousand dollar front splitter, I would be just tearing myself up. Well, here's one thing. When you own a car that you like a lot, you tend to park a mile away from anybody else. But some, sometimes they always find a way to park next to you. So you gotta be careful about it. Thank you. Anyways, though, got the Chick-fil-A right here, but uh, let's uh, see some food, then let's go stop by Ford. It's always an interesting uh, game when it comes to going to a Ford dealership and talking about getting a good deal on these new Shelbys. However, we're just going to see how these guys go when it comes to the GT500, but I'm, I'm pretty optimistic. Okay, so here we are. We're coming up on the Ford dealership just around the corner. Actually, it's just straight in front of us. Over here, there's a, a Dodge dealership as well. I think they had a uh, Hellcat Red Eye in there just recently. Those cars are going for like $80,000. That's a lot of money, it really is. Wow, Un unbelievable. So uh, here we are at the gas station. I'm gonna pull over and just, just gonna go over what just happened because in, in all honesty, did I did not expect this to happen whatsoever. And I, I'm gonna go ahead and call my buddy, uh, Scott. He was there with me, but he's in his own car right now. I'm gonna pull over, give him a call, and then just, just see what he thinks about all of this. Hello? Scott, yeah. Yeah, I'm over here at In-N-Out Burger. Grab okay. a quick bite, real quick. Okay. Um, Crazy, huh? That was that was weird. What what just happened? To be completely honest with you, I when I walked in, I did not expect what what I what I heard from from that dealership. You know, like. Well, you want me to sum it up? Yeah. I'll I'll sum it up. Um, basically, what I what I heard the guy say was, um that I don't care how many Fords you bought from us. I don't care how long you've been coming here with your cars to get worked on and serviced. And on top of that, I don't care how many uh, YouTube or social media followers you have. I could care less. Those don't help <laughs> us at all. So he basically said, your background with the, with social media does nothing for us at this dealership. Well, no, what was weird too was that I didn't even bring it up. I, I didn't even like yeah, say you YouTube. Up, you were polite, and, and on top of all that, he basically said, if you're not going to pay forty thousand over, there's the door. Or yeah. Point toward the door. Basically told me that um, if I'm not willing to pay forty thousand dollars over sticker, there's the door right there. You can you can leave right now. You can walk out. How can you? I, I thought Ford was all about the the family, the the, the small you know the small town guy, the, the blue collar guy, middle America. You know, it seems like that's gone now. It, it's all about money grab. It's not. It, it seems like it's not family friendly anymore. It's all about can I take advantage of you? Uh, I feel bad for you. I really do. Well, what's weird too is that. When you have 
the Ford dealership telling you that they're going to be selling this car for $40,000 over sticker when allocations haven't really truly even come out. Each dealership has been guaranteed at least one GT500 and one GT350. But for him to already say that this car is going to go for 40 k over sticker when the market is not even established yet is unbelievable. If this is truly a 70 to $80,000 Shelby Mustang with a $40,000 markup on it, you're looking at a 100 plus thousand, 110 plus thousand dollar Mustang. And I, what, I, yeah? Sorry to cut you off, Austin. Let me just put it to you this way, my opinion. At the end of the day, this is a Ford Mustang. That's the product you're buying, okay? Mustangs used to cost you know, four thousand dollars back in the '60s. They went up to ten to fifteen to to twenty five, thirty thousand. Now you're talking about a seventy to eighty thousand dollar Ford Mustang with a thirty to fifty thousand dollar markup. That's basically a hundred and thirty. Are you crazy? It's not like it's a Shelby car that that has a limited production run. It's not like a Shelby American car. Is what I meant to say where you're like car one of 50 and it's rare. No, no, you're talking about car one of 5,000 cars a year and they're gonna make it for five years. You're one of 25 to 30,000 cars. Yeah, yeah, no, no, you're completely right in that regard when it comes to getting the new Shelby because why would you pay $40,000 over sticker when the buyer can just look two states over and try to find one in the middle of the country for MSRP, which there are deals out there that are at least close to MSRP. It's just the arrogance over here in SoCal or just California in general. All they're looking for is for that one person who's going to walk in the Ford dealership and is going to fall for the games of this is a one of one. They will never make this ever again. You are getting a limited car that's going to go up 30K in value. This is a car for you. And then someone, you know, people out there do fall for it, which is unfortunate because it makes a market stay the way it is. And also, you know what, with that in mind, the market is completely controlled by by these Ford dealerships. It's these Ford dealerships randomly just saying the market's 30K over. When you can go well, city over, then it's 40K over. What if you someone pays 40,000 over? I bet if you go on Auto Trader right now, you could probably find a used GT350, like a 2016, uh, GT350 or maybe even a 2017 for in the 40s. So you're basically buying a GT350 with the ADM, the dealer markup. Yeah, it's... Oh my it, God, that's... this is crazy, dude. All right, well, I got to run, Austin. Catch up later, dude. Okay, appreciate it, man. Talk to you soon. I'll meet up later. Goodbye. Later, dude. Okay guys, I need to point out a few things. First of which is that there are plenty of great Ford dealerships out there that you can work with. This video was basically made to showcase to all of you some of the difficulties that you may come across, that you may stumble across when you're trying to buy a Shelby GT500, when you're trying to get a good deal. Many dealerships out there are going to charge a markup on this new Shelby. However, at the same time, many dealerships will not. So what I'm trying to say is that when it comes to buying this new vehicle, Vehicle, don't give up. Keep searching for the best deal possible because you will, without a doubt, find a better deal than a $40,000 markup on one of these new vehicles. Now, unfortunately, most dealerships that I have talked to within the Southern California area have told me that they're charging a huge markup on this new Shelby. So if you do live within California, I would highly suggest that you look out of state when it comes to trying to find a dealership to work with when buying a new Shelby GT500. If you were wondering why these markups exist in the first place, well, when these four dealerships get their vehicles, their vehicles have an MSRP. But remember, MSRP means the manufacturer's suggested, the suggested retail price. The four dealerships are still allowed to decide how much they sell their vehicles for. Well guys, that's going to wrap up this video. Please let me know your experiences in the comment section down below. Also hit that like button, it really does help me out. And subscribe for much more great content to come. I'll see all of you guys in the next video.